Hello everybody and welcome back to the next video which will be quite a short one and it will be about how to install a Zabbix agent on your Windows machines with supported encryption. So if you previously had a task to install a Zabbix agent on a Windows machine which by itself uh, is quite an easy quite an easy task and if you had a requirement to have encryption to encrypt communication with a Zabbix server or a proxy using the certificates or the PS keys most likely you will face an issue because simply if you would go to the Zabbix.com download page you would find a pre-compiled agent section where you can find a pre-compiled agent for the Windows operating system but the problem is this agent is not compiled with encryption support so this agent functions properly it is able to monitor all the data but if you are using this agent you won't be able to encrypt your communications what are the options how can you fix this problem uh, the easiest way is to go to the support.zabbix.com page and there is this, this feature request which is exactly about Windows agent uh, binaries not compi compiled with a TLS support. Uh, I will definitely copy paste the URL to the description so don't hesitate go to this page and just download any of these pre-compiled agents. Um, the encryption is still not enabled by default in the download section but the employees developers of the Zabbix kindly are adding new pre-compiled agents that are supported with the TLS so they are working with encryption and when you pick the proper version that you need just download it on your windows box you will get this zip file when you will ex extract it you will get a two folders one the conf with the configuration files and a second one with the binaries agent zabbix get used for the testing purposes and Zabbix sender to simply send some values to the server or proxy without involving an agent at all and 3DLL files that are exactly needed and used for the encryption. You won't find these 3DLL files if you will download an agent from here. So how to install the agent? Uh, I already made one slight change to the config file and uh, don't worry, if you open the conf folder, you will see two configuration files the Zabbix agent dconf file, Zabbix agent d.win config file, and actually also a Zabbix server config file. Don't know why this is here. I will be using this .win, and it doesn't matter which one from these two you will pick, just uh, remember it because you will need it in the installation process. And the only thing that I changed here was. Uh, location of the log file because by default Zabbix agent is writing a log file exactly on a C disk which is not uh, I don't know it, it's just it just looks ugly so for me it is better to write a log file in the Zabbix directory and I won't be doing that because I won't be configuring this agent with a server or a proxy right now I'm just showing how to do that uh, in your case, of course, if you want this agent to be monitored by the server or the proxy, don't forget about this one, the server parameter, which is IP or a host name of your Zabbix server or a proxy, if this host is monitoring by it, uh, from which agent will accept communication. So this is used for a passive checks. If you are pl planning to use active checks, active checks related, and in the front end you will have items with a type Zabbix agent active, then you need to change server active, which again will be IP or a DNS name of your Zabbix server or a proxy. Plus, you need to set a host name, and host name must match exactly case sensitive with a host name just like you configured in the Zabbix front end. Remember, this is case sensitive. That's it. Uh, make, make your changes in the config file, then you can close this, then you will need a CMD. CMD on a Windows with administrator uh, permissions. So what we need to do, we need to move uh, to the directory where we have our uh, Zabbix files and we will need a binary file. So this is C Zabbix Win64, like C Zabbix win64 and we have a Zabbix agent D here. So move to this directory, 
done. Uh, then we need to run Zabbix agent D executional file space dash dash config and location of the configuration file that we will be using. So in my case, this is this Zabbix underscore agent D dot win. Uh, what do we need to do? C backslash Zabbix conf Zabbix underscore agent D dot win and don't forget to add dot conf in the end because extension of the file still is a conf. So double quotes closing and dash dash install. There we go. Savix Agent D service installed successfully and event source installed successfully. Now you can uh, you can check this by opening the services and right in the bottom you will see the Zabbix agent service and you can start it. Service started. You can check the log file. It's not here yet. Will be later. Okay, it doesn't matter. But the service is running. Uh, there we go. So if you want to restart it, there we go. And uh, after this, when agent is installed, if you really need to configure uh, encryption, you will need to use these parameters. In the bottom, uh, bottom configuration file, not here, TLS related parameters. So there are two options, TLS connect, how the agent should connect to the server or the proxy. Pay attention how the agent should connect, in which cases agent is connecting at all, only if you are using active checks. So if you are monitoring this host with a passive checks, then you need to change only this, TLS accept how agent will accept incoming connections. And if you want to use a PS keys, then just change unencrypted to PS keys. This is for the certificates, for certificates, certificates, uh, TLS PSK identity. So figure out your own, that can be absolutely anything. And then a location of the file where, where the key will be actually stored. After that, of course, don't forget to save the configuration configuration file and then restart the Zabbix agent service. And that would be just a part of all of the steps required because there's still a last step. You need to open the front end of the Zabbix, find the host, this one host, click on it in the properties of the host, you will see a tab encryption, if I'm not wrong, and you need to type the same TLS PS key identity and uh, just copy paste the PS key itself, the key, not the location of the file, not the file, nothing like that, just the key itself. So in the agent config file, you need to specify location of the file where the key is stored in the front end, just the key. That's it. You will encrypt your communication from the agent to the server or to the proxy. Any questions, just like previously in the comments, subscribe, press the like button, do all the good things and uh, thank you for for your time and see you in the next videos goodbye